Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this. Incidents in the St. Louis County town of Glendale rally in the wake of tragedy. They are doing it for a beloved garbage truck driver after his daughter was murdered. Here's Fox 2's Andy Banker with the story all new at 10. There's a new donation jar on the counter of Vitaly's Deli for the family of Patrick Mack, a family bigger than Patrick ever knew. He hangs out the window and says, hey, Ginger, what's going on? Patrick is the town's beloved trash hauler. Residents actually wait with their garbage for a dose of his kindness. That big smile, even a hug. The grown-ups and the kids, too. I want to be hugging his stank ass. Damn, ground sugar. Look how these white people have embraced this brother, man. Garbage man stank. Oh, oh yeah, okay, but damn. They, they they've embraced this. They've embraced this man into their community, man. They treat him like they wait for the, to give him their to get their trash, and his and he he's divested because he's he he he. Well, what is this work divested? <laughs> he divested at work. Hey, this, this, picture, this picture reminds me of the cover of Songs of the South. Yeah, man. That old, that he, old movie. He got away. He got away from these some people at, just for, for, for nine to five from for, 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 for eight hours a day. He got away from the Sun community. But his daughter, he left his daughter in the Sun community, man. And uh, you know what happened. But salute to him for for, for divesting, man. Divesting at least for the work hours, for the work day, man. Story all new at 10. There's a new donation jar on the counter of Vitaly's Deli for the family of Patrick Mack, a family bigger than Patrick ever knew. He hangs out the window and says, hey, Ginger, what's going on? Patrick is the town's beloved trash hauler. Residents actually wait with their garbage for a dose of his kindness. That big smile, even a hug. The grown-ups and the kids, too. Hi, Patrick. Hey, we miss you. We miss you. The children in this area, they all know him. When his birthday comes, they're in the driveway with cupcakes. Police say Patrick's daughter, Adesha Jackson, mother of two, was shot to death in a domestic dispute in North County. Just a God, dog, shit. man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And, and that's what I was saying. That snow bunny white girl <laughs> had a black man. She can get killed as soon as she make him mad. Man, listen, man. How should make a man? <laughs> when like, just, it, right? It's, it's not me. hard. Me, man. You they see, my me. son, man, gave me the eye when he heard me say <laughs> something about that white boy being cute. <laughs> you say he had swag. Yeah. Yo, let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something, man. They say the internet is undefeated. The stand is undefeated. This could have been such a great story, man. This could have been such a great story. It's like it's like a movie where everything starts off good and then doo -doo -doo -doo, the music changes and it's like, damn, this was such a great story. Uh, up until this point. Uh, up until this exactly, exactly. I feel so sorry for this man for losing starter though. Yeah, man, it's just sad, man. Shit. Police say Patrick's daughter, Adesha Jackson, mother of two was shot to death in a domestic dispute in North County just after celebrating her 28th birthday Friday night. The suspect is jailed on a murder charge. It she happened with Patrick off his yeah, route recovered. Yeah, she, 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 was, she was definitely definitely a smash, man. Definitely, man. Um, he was like, if I can't have you, no one can have you. Charge. It happened with Patrick off his route recovering from shoulder surgery. And it's home. Because he's lost. He's he's our family. They feel the same way at City Hall, where there's a collection jar, along with cards that people have been dropping off. A GoFundMe account nearly doubled its ten thousand dollar goal in the first And I bet you ain't none of them goddamn not a dollar came from a Negro. Not a red cent. You know we on GoFundMe. And as much trash that people want to talk about gliders, you guys you gotta admit they are very, very charitable. Yeah, they're they treating this guy like gold. This guy, if this guy showed up at a Black Lives Matter rally, he should, that's probably what happened. His karma, he probably was like, he probably got swept up by the George Floyd shit. Yeah, God. Nah. And God was probably like, oh, nah. you? You? I thought I got these white people to treat you as good nah, like I, I doubt that. I don't nah. think, I don't see that in him. 
Nah, it's a son guy who actually loves his Let job. Me tell you something. Yeah. Let me tell you I something. I don't think that. Let me tell you something, man. All son people got swept up in that shit. I didn't. Son. Shit. You probably just didn't go to no marches, but yeah, I did not get swept into that. I was watching you. Okay, but I'm talking <laughs> about normal, normal, okay, normal son people. He's the normal son person. He God was probably like, oh, nigga, for real. After I put all these good old white people in your life, you out here protesting and talking about goddamn systematic institutions and systems and shit and fucking structural shit. Oh, okay, I got some structures for you. I'm gonna instruct this nigga. <laughs> no, let, me see. let me see, man. But I hope I hope that ain't what happened. Off his roof, recovering <laughs> from shoulder surgery. And it's home because he's lost. He's he's our family. They feel the same way at City Hall, where there's a collection jar along with cards that people have been dropping off. A GoFundMe account nearly doubled its ten thousand dollar goal in the first twenty hours. The financial second here. Yeah. The love is comes first. It just verifies, and I hope that it verifies to him what he means to all of us. He's a good example of, I think, how joy and happiness cross all jobs, races, socioeconomic, age groups, whatever. And he's just kind and we all love it. The jars are out. The GoFundMe page is active until further notice. So even if you're not from Glendale, maybe swing through and drop something off. And maybe down the road, when Patrick is back on his route, come back and see what they're all talking about in Glendale. Damn, that's fucked up, man. That breaks my I heart. I hope Donald Trump ain't steal the jar. Exactly. They leaving white folk. Don't leave that tip jar out. Salute the platinum piggy. Says F Walmart, Black Wall Street will save the day. <laughs> yeah, man. You get two people from Tulsa to move out there, man. That's all they need, man. Um, but but yeah, like black white people, you don't leave tip jars out, like. Like, you just don't leave the shit out like that, man. Put it in a bank account. Or yeah. Something. Empty that shit like every hour or so. You got a lot of noise, um, Calix, man. A lot of noise, Jack. Man, did you see that uh, white woman waiting the virtue signal there at the end? And she was just waiting to crack that gem out. Oh, well, I mean, she, they probably coaxed it. Like, like listen, man. She, 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 these white people. I will not stand for any fucking remarks about these white people. I'm, 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 I don't want to have to drop you, man. Don't talk about these white people. I like these white people, man. Yeah, they these good are, white folks. These are good white people, man. If, if these ain't good white people, man, if they ain't no good white people, if y'all holding them to, if y'all doing being an East German judge to the to white people, man, we fucked up, man. Get these white these these white people are some good ass white people, man. Yeah, and that's a good uh, a good black man too for getting up going to work. Yeah, yeah, man. Definitely. Yeah, man. Talking about these good old these good old goddamn gliders, man. Leave these gliders alone, man. Um, that's you, brown sugar on that damn noise in the background. Somebody, no, nope, I'm on mute. Oh, I got a lot of noise, man. What the fuck is doing that shit? Um, but yeah, um, shit. Um, oh, shit, man. This woman, Willetta Anderson Watson, was hit and killed by traffic on March 8th while crossing the street trying to catch the bus going to work. It happened at the intersection of South Florissant uh, and Woodstock Road. She was loved by all who knew her, and today her co-workers are doing their part to make sure she is remembered and her family is taken care of. New tonight, our Get Real of Adult shares their efforts. Define she traffic. was an amazing person. She was one in a million. A rare soul. One thing about Smiley, that she did not miss work. Is how loved ones and colleagues describe 61-year-old Willetta Anderson Watson. She made everybody smile. She was our bright light. A light shining through the golden arches off of North Lindbergh Boulevard in Hazelwood for the past year. It's, it's no worse. It's experience. <laughs> No, she's not here. Two drivers struck Willetta on March 8th, one killing her while she was crossing South Florissant Road in Ferguson to catch the bus. The person driving the maroon SUV that ran her over, still on the run. I was picking up the phone trying to call. That was a sudden man. <laughs> they stopped. That's a sudden man. 
still on the run. I was picking up the phone trying to call her and I mean it was it was just horrible calling all my managers to, to let them know it was just we couldn't believe it. Mary Newberry is the general manager at the McDonald's where Anderson worked. And she'd go on break and go over and buy everybody stuff from the gas station. We wouldn't even ask her. She'd just bring us all kinds of goodies. Now, they're paying it forward. We're thankful. To the woman they'll forever remember as Smiley. She made that impact, touched everybody's heart, man. She took a little piece of me with her, that's for sure. 10% of all sales between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Tuesday at this and five other North County McDonald's will go towards helping Anderson's family with expenses related. The bladders don't have to do that, man. They don't have to give give money for the this, McDonald's. This is a really sad story. Yeah. It's really mm -hmm. sad. That's why I, I just be late for work, because I'm not dying. Yeah, man. This is just, I mean, she just... <sighs> yeah, see why black people show up late now? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. She did to her death. She would be smiling. She would be smiling and uh, she would just be overwhelmed just to know that someone would take the time out to do something like this. Anderson's brother and friends tell News 4 it's support like this that feeds their determination for justice. And I just wish that the person can find some kind of compassion. And not gonna I don't do care it, if you just have a little ounce. <laughs> turn yourself in. Uh, ounce. They, uh, they always it. say this. Turn, they're not going to turn themselves in. Nope. They don't have a CC of whatever the fuck she talking about. They need an ounce of. They gonna find this man in six months, maybe next year. Yeah, yeah, damn, same move. I'm, I, we might get out of the table. Uh, for you tonight, to uh, return themselves in anyway. You know your mic is jacked. What the fuck happened? How'd your mic get jacked like that? It was fine. What the fuck did you do? Oh, my mic is it good? Now it's good. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I was going to say, the type of person that would do that isn't going to turn into such an odd request that these people have. They have no conscience. That's why they did that. <laughs> yeah. Like, like he, he mowed that elderly lady down and kept it pushing. He don't give a fuck right now. It's been it's been. And he months. know he hit on a human. I know when I run over a squirrel. Exactly. Facts. A flat squirrel. I already <laughs> ran over. I still know when I run over. Yeah, like you know, old, old woman. That was in traffic. They ain't talking about like on the highway in traffic. He hit her so hard in traffic. It was well, they said two vehicles hit her, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they were probably <laughs> racing. <laughs> it probably was. But it was traffic. I think that they were just probably because you know.